And as you can see, I missed a lot of stuff. That's not really quite important. It's not necessary to be in the picture. Now I'm going to go to new, create new. Um, keep the the height and image here is the same as the one that was right here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that, and go to advanced options and make a fill with transparency and click OK. And then you can exit out of this now, and get this open. And then uh, right click, edit, paste, or use your shortcuts. And you have to picture like that. Now then, I'm going to go select none. Uh, no, I can't actually. So I'm going to. Oh, you got to anchor it. That's right. Okay, once it's anchored, uh, you can see uh, any mistakes you made. Um, like there's a little bit like right there that I'm going to cut out. Control X is a shortcut for that. And then there's other uh, stuff you can get out right there and whatnot. Which I'm going to do. Alright. And now, uh, now I'll bring you up to uh, a point here. You don't want a big white block like that there. So uh, let me zoom in a bit. And get my cropping tool back, and then uh, we got to cut out this little interior white that's left over from the picture, or else the picture is going to look like crap, even though you uh, cut it out correctly. Do this some more. Again, perfection isn't always necessary unless you're going for that. Um, I usually try to get close to perfect, but not perfect, because, you know, that's not really in my style to go perfect. I'm not, not much of a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like this, but I usually try to get something that looks good enough to be called, well, not, not good enough to be called perfect, but, you know, good enough to uh, satisfy anyone. Alright, I'm getting called again, so decline. Uh, now you can zoom out and you got the picture, um, which is great. Um, select none so you don't have the little outline. And then from here, you could uh, uh, do other things. Like I would save the picture now, save as. I'm going to save it in my um, my sprites here. I'm going to save it as... Uh, I don't remember his name. Some dude. And then dot .png. I usually save my pictures as PNG because they're quite small and they're great for overlays. Blah 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 and do that stuff. And now what you can do here is you go out uh, layer, um, transparency, add alpha to a selection, and go to select and grow. And grow this by about four maybe. And then you get a uh, layer, new layer, make sure it's transparent in the same dimensions. Over here, move it below the picture. And then you could grab something like like this and then go to edit fill with pattern oops I gotta move this behind the picture move behind the pit ah, damn it ah I see what the problem is I put it on the background which I shouldn't have done um, undo that actually so undo that and then undo that uh, select I messed up so let me uh, layer transparency alpha to selection cut it select none layer new layer alright make sure it's transparent and then you paste it onto this layer anchor it um, go back to the alpha to selection hold on it does it sometimes you just uh, make a new crop triangle or something uh, grab the picture grow make it grow again um, then go to background edit and then fill a pattern and then you get something like that which is uh, pretty cool select uh, select none um, zoom in and then you get all those patterns you'll notice if there's like any uh, screw ups on the picture um, but usually if you uh, put it like a little border like that it will cover up most of the slip ups which is a uh, good um, so that's how you do basic editing and stuff with this and what I'm gonna do now is go back to my uh, make a new layer 
and I'm going to put it right there, keep it right there. And I'm going to put text down now, just to give you an advantage, like an example of how to do a text thing. Uh, you could type in here, um, some dude, um, click this to get this picture back up. And then you could change your fonts, which you can download off the internet. Uh, I have plenty of fonts to use, like uh, this Humanoid Typhoon one, which I think works quite well here. Then I'm going to increase the size a whole bunch. Put it at 45. Oops. And then uh, I'm going to move it around. Oops. Oops. So, dude. Alright, it kind of gets around the picture a little bit well, not too well though, but um, now I'm going to change the color of it. I'm going to make it white. And then I'm going to uh, add alpha to the selection. And I'm going to grow it. Oh, no, I'm not going to grow it actually. I'm going to keep it as is. And uh, I'm going to go to my new layer that I made a while ago, and I'm going to fill it with. Um, I'm going to fill it with the basic color. I'm going to go uh, orange. Alright, and then you go edit, fill with color. Um, so that didn't come out too well. Hmm. Go back here. Um, so let me grow it a bit. And then let me go back to my layer and edit fill with the color and then you get something like that select none and then that's how you do some pretty basic editing in uh, in GIMP um, now if you just get rid of the, uh, the image itself and just do the same with the with the words you could create some watermarks that you can use to overlay stuff like uh, like my gaming1.com watermarks in my videos which won't be in this one uh, but yeah that's how you do stuff like that. So thanks for watching. This will probably be about two parts. Not sure. Um, basically all that stuff. So, you know, see you guys later.